What's up everyone, V here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Carnage, or Marvel's Carnage, from Venom, Let There Be Carnage. A figure which I actually didn't think we would ever actually get, actually, because, well, didn't that movie come out like two, three years ago? <laughs> it's been a while since this movie even came out, and they've only ever made Venom from those movies, so I just assumed we weren't going to get any of the Sony, Sony-verse, whatever universe that is, characters as figures, which rightfully so, like, half the movies aren't the best, and didn't perform well, so I doubt we're going to be getting a Michael Morbius or a Madam Web anytime soon, but the Venom movies are, I, I like them, I think they're good, they're some dumb fun, and they actually do make a decent amount of money, but I don't know, I just, I never thought we'd actually get a carnage, and it was just so out of the blue, but hell yeah, I was hyped, the second they revealed this, I was like, I need it, I'm pre-ordering it, and uh, I pre-ordered it on Amazon, and then it said, we're shipping it, and then it shipped, and it said, it's coming today. And then, uh, today came. And then nothing happened. And then I check its tracking. And then it says, we've encountered a situation. Or we've run into a problem. If it doesn't arrive in the next two days, check back here. So the two days come. It does not arrive. I check back in. They say, sorry. Your package has been lost in the mail. We'll be issuing a refund within a couple days. So I'm like, okay, and this was kind of like the last week of June, I just had a really bad string of luck. Like, it was not doing too hot. But then, July 1st, I wake up, I head downstairs. I look outside, there's a package. And I'm like... Imagine if it's the carnage, because this is like two, three days after it said it got lost in the mail, we're issuing a refund. I pick it up, I open the box, and, well, as you can guys clearly see from clicking on the video, it was carnage. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll take it. But then, the next day, today, I check, and they gave me my money back for the figure, so I got this figure for free, which is insane, because <laughs> this guy's like 40, 45 to 50 dollars in that range, and I got him for free, basically, yeah, I got him for free, is what I'm saying, I got this figure for free, I don't know how, I don't know what, like, black magic was used to give me this carnage figure, but... I mean, I'll take it because this guy, this guy is awesome. He is a behemoth. If you can, if you have watched some previous videos, you might be able to tell something's up with the, something's different about the camera. And that's just because it's insanely high up because this guy is a beast. Before we even get into the nitty gritty, here he is just next to, to Spidey, Marvel Legends, Andrew Garfield. That just goes to show how big this guy is. He is large, he is in charge, he is a, he's a beast of a figure. So the fact that I got that for free, not the flex on all the poor people, which is literally everyone else that has to pay full price for this guy, <laughs> but I mean, I, I just had to share that story because I think that's just, just wild that I got him for free. But anyway, before we get into this carnage, get into this beast, this mighty behemoth of a figure we got to talk about the packaging got to get him off the screen because he is there's a lot going on the package is the newer marvel legends package where it's a bit more of a box and i said this in a previous review i don't remember which one if you want it i mean why not watch the last couple reviews specifically the iron man reviews to uh, see if I mention it there. Oh. <laughs> anyway, 
they kind of seem to make the uh, Marvel Legends and Black Series boxes very similarly designed. They're, I don't know if they if that was purposeful or not, but they look like similar packaging. I don't know what the deal is there, but I kind of mess with the new Marvel Legends boxes. It's nice. Got this huge window. Marvel's Carnage. Venom. Let there be Carnage. Hasbro. Four plus. That's shocking, considering how spiky this guy is. Marvel Legends. Warning. Choking hazard. Um, you can choke on stuff. Venom. Let there be Carnage. Marvel Legends. Nothing. A pretty cool shot of our boy Carnage from the movie. And then on the back, we have the picture of Venom and Carnage on the verge of vigorously making out. Look, you can hate each other, but if your tongues are that close to touching, you're about to kiss. Except Carnage is his son, so it's a little strange. But anyway, bringing in this bad boy, he is big. He is really, really big. <laughs> and he's got a lot going on, so he might be a bit hard to showcase on camera without knocking the camera down. So yeah, also, side note, I, uh, it's a very not popular artist. They don't have, they're not insanely listened to, but I have a CD of Keep Me Fed by The Warning, and it has a little signed thing by all of them that came, also came today. I don't know, I just really wanted to showcase that because that's really awesome because I love that band so much and it's really cool that um, I have a signed picture from them. Anyway, <laughs> he is big. And accessory-wise, we can kind of already see three of the accessories. And you might be asking, three? There's a lot more than three tendrils. These two and these two are connected in this third one's separated. I don't exactly know how you're supposed to, I'm assuming you put them on like this, but I tried to curve them to where you have two going to the sides and then one kind of going up. That's how I got mine going. Um, they also make him incredibly hard to stand because, well, this is all rubber, so he's going to want to fall back a lot, which is why I kind of have him in a slightly hunched pose. But, you know doesn't matter because he's huge so he needs to be hunched but he does come with some other accessories he comes with this hand which is just a generic hand but with a spike morphing out of it and one thing i will say about the figure which i knew from the very second i saw the product shots this nice little like black wash thingy it was only really going to be on the front of the figure I know Hasbro, they weren't going to put it on the back. They put it on more of the back than I expected, but still. So yeah, on the back of the hand, it's kind of just plain, which sucks. But you could probably just get, like, some, like, gray marker. What I used to do for, like, battle damage, I'd get one of those, like, art markers with the two sides, get the thicker side, rub that onto the figure, and then kind of wipe some of it off, because... They wouldn't stick super well, so some of it would wipe off and it'd leave a nice battle damage. Which I might do if the battle damage, not battle damage, if this effect kind of bothers me not being everywhere. But still you get this nice, cool claw hand. And then, if you didn't think all of this was enough, he comes with, that has a hair on it, this giant axe blade, not axe, so you can just really, like, load him up for, like, maximum carnage. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, that looks wild. And, finally... For his final accessory he comes with an alternate head with that tongue out which looks really awesome and a cool effect that they did there you can see through those things you can see his teeth under there which is really awesome I'm not the biggest fan of how squinted the eyes are definitely prefer this head more kind of how i do with venom like 
I prefer my Venom without the tongue out, at least on the movie one. But it looks cool, and to just showcase it. Showcase this carnage and just, I'm, I need to take him behind the camera for fear of just knocking everything over. But like, look at that, dude. You can just get him going like that. Like, come on, that looks awesome. Like, that is so cool. But I'm going to... I'm going to put him back to his default stance for the rest of this review because that's just a little too much to try to get on camera. But yeah, bringing him in. Cool. He looks so cool. I actually really liked Carnage and Let There Be Carnage. I rewatched it like a couple weeks ago. Because it was just on TV and I was bored. And I actually really like it. I think it's a fun movie. And I think Carnage is actually really awesome. Like, they made Carnage terrifying. And it's funny because, like, Carnage is always seen as, like, yeah, he's terrifying and evil. But he's always, like, this tinier, scrawnier symbiote next to Venom's bigger and bulkier. So the fact that, even though he definitely does have the skinny, scrawnier look, that he just... He just towers over Venom, like. It's crazy. But yeah, um, trying to bring him in for a closer look. Uh, it's going to be slightly difficult with the tentacles, but I shall try. We'll zoom the camera in a bit. That head sculpt looks so good. I love just the like maniacal grin that it has. And the eyes look really nice. I didn't even it didn't even really clock for me that his teeth are colored. And Carnage's teeth are usually uh are usually black. But it honestly doesn't bother me. That look, that just looks really cool. I'm not even gonna lie. I love the shape of his eyes. It looks so good. Then coming down to the chest, just got that like symbiote look with this beautiful paint job over top of it, which looks really nice. And then you just have all these like little tendrils coming out of like his arms and legs and everything, which are a little, a little spiky, kind of hurt if you hit it the wrong way, but looks really awesome and again you can kind of see where it's not fully on the back there whoa we just did we just hit the camera i think we hit the camera but you know they did it surprisingly more than i expected and it looks pretty awesome you got those claws looks really cool and then his legs look at them beefy boys and his toes just beautiful detailing and each of the uh tendrils has a cool unique Thing. You got this really cool spike. And they are bendy. They are bendy wire, kind of like Doc Ock arms. They got this spike. They got this, like, blade-looking thing. And then you got whatever the hell this is, just a bunch of spikes. And then finally, I guess you kind of do repeat the blade thing again. But still, and it's all coming out his back. And the back is the most obvious part that they kind of didn't paint a lot. I'm alright with up here, but I kind of wish they maybe gave a bit more down to his buttocks area. Especially since, like, they did it to the back of the legs, so then it's just super detailed and then just perfectly clean on part of his cheek, which is strange. But he's still got some of the nice paint back there than the back of the legs. Like I said, it's not everywhere, but, like, even behind the neck there. They did it surprisingly more on the back than I expected. If I just look at that. Oh, hold up. Gotta zoom out. Just look at how insane that is. Like, he is crazy. Ooh, again, very top he back heavy, though. Articulation wise, though, he has a dumbbell joint. Oop, let me just position camera down. Dumbbell joint, which looks up pretty far. 
and looks down really far, which is good because he's going to be looking down on everybody. Rotates, bobs, arm moves out that far, rotates, kind of gets in the way there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, hinge in and out on all the arms, on all the arms, except for this one, this one moves up and down. You got the uh, diaphragm and ab crunch, which I believe was first introduced to us from the first Venom figure, which is cool. And he can arc that far back. Tentacles kind of get in the way. And he can go really far forward. And of course, he can rotate and do the bobs. Legs kick that far forward. Can't really kick far back because his bodacious cheeks back there. It might seem flat, but just the utter size of them compared to a normal person is wild. He can do the splits really well. Thigh rotation, double jointed knee. And then ankle moves up, not that far, but back pretty far. And a rocker, wish it moved a bit far, farther forward to get him to stand better, but beyond that, he's got phenomenal articulation, along with the fact that you can just bend these tentacles however you want. I don't really want to bend them anymore, because I really like the pose I have them in. But yeah, this guy is crazy, so getting them pushed far back for comparisons. Here he is next to a Black Series and a Voyager-class Transformers figure. Here he is next to a phase one clone and shockwave he just he makes shockwave look like he's nothing and for a seven inch scale comparison here he is next to a dc mcfarland and a jazzwares halo black manta and halo 3 master chief this is a very rare case where a six inch scale figure towers even above the seven inch scale figures he's got to be like eight inches tall like, he is huge. And for some more fun comparisons, here he is next to some Spideys, Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland, respectively. And, like, dude. Now, this is a threat that Spidey and Venom would have to team up against because, my god. And for a couple Spidey villains, here he is next to Doc. Not Doc Ock, Lord green goblin and doc ock who also has wild tentacles but even then carnage just puts doc ock to shame like he is giant and for some carnage comparisons here he is next to the like black suit spidey carnage two pack and the uh, more modern comic Carnage from the uh, Venom Wave. Uh, this is what I used as my like realistic Carnage in my collection. But now I have this bad boy. And he just... He makes all the other Carnages seem like they nothing. Like he is a m absolute unit of a figure. And finally, here's some Venom comparisons. Here he is next to the uh, Marvel Legends Venom mold. Here he is next to the movie and the comic one. And finally, here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Venom. Is that Venom bigger than the uh, Legends? Eh, they're about the same size. So yeah, he is just... I know I've said it a thousand times, but he's just so big and awesome. I love it so much. Like, he is so much fun. Do I recommend this guy? Absolutely. He is awesome. He's just awesome. He's just, he's just a large, insane, wild figure. He's got so much different things. The hell am I trying to say? I just... He's a really fun figure. You got all those, like, tentacles, all those different accessories you can swap out that just make him look absolutely insane. 
he is definitely a powerhouse on your shelf. I don't have a shelf, but if I did, he'd be crazy. He'd be a great, like, I don't know, centerpiece to put behind all your Spidey villains. Like, he is awesome. And he looks, he looks really good, too. They nailed the sculpt. He's just overall a really, really fun figure. I highly recommend, uh, highly recommend picking this guy up. Uh, doesn't hurt me since I got it for free, but, you know, he's definitely well worth that $40, because from the second I saw those photos, I was like, I need to have him, and he's, he is worth it, like, he is a lot of fun, posing with, like, Venom and Spidey, and just, I mean, look at him, how could you not want this pure, chaotic boy? That's about it. Like, subscribe, check out my previous reviews. A lot of Marvel Legends stuff. A lot of the Iron Man wave we're getting through, but I just had to throw in this carnage because he's just so awesome. Check out my Instagram video so you can talk to me there. Got a lot of guitar and music related stuff going on there. Some like album reviews, stuff like that. And also, I think I just have to share my favorite moment in the entirety of that of let there be carnage is when venom pulls up to the church and i forget exactly what he says but he's talking about like i'm gonna kill you father and then the priest gets scared and he's like not you father you father it's my favorite moment in the entire movie like look at this happy family Can't wait to see what other chaos let, what's it called? Last Dance, whatever it's called, the, the third Venom movie. Can't wait to see what carnage that brings. Um, And I can't wait till the year 2049 when they finally make a figure from that movie. I doubt, I don't even think, are we going to get a riot? That'd be really awesome, but... I don't think so. Oh, train. It's like a staple of all my videos now. So yeah, that's about it. Definitely recommend this guy. He's really awesome. I love him so much. And uh, yeah, hopefully you don't end up having a child that ends up becoming chaotic and tries to murder you. And even worse, a child that's taller than you. Peace.